Well, the Empire, everybody, this is Rampa, and welcome back to my Coen Helion campaign, where we're going to continue lift off from last time. Hopefully, we can get a decent amount done against the Ptolemy forces today. I'm bringing all of my forces down from the north. Uh, so I've got like, what, almost like four armies total. Uh, we're going to claim side, and I think right now I'm going to continue trying to buy land from the Seleucids every once in a while, because eventually I want to... Like, I might actually be able to just avoid attacking them entirely. Because I know I need to get up to, what was it, 40 regions? So I need 40 regions, so I need 14 more. I still need to kill... So the only factions I have to kill, I have to kill Pontus and uh, the Bosphorus guys. So once I take out uh, the Ptolemy forces, because I mean, let's kind of see what the map looks like. Right now, I, let's see, so one... Two, three, oh no, that was there. Um, four, five, six. So there's six from them, and then I need eight more. So that would be at least one, two, three, at least three there. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Hmm. Perfect, so if I just took all that land, I'd be good. I'd get my victory conditions. So what I'm gonna do, is I'm going to continue pushing against the Ptolemy forces. I don't need to kill them. I could actually ask them for a piece if they want one. But right now, I actually have a decent amount of money because of them. Some of their lands are actually pretty nice. I'm probably going to go for Hibis next, honestly. But uh, So we're going to focus all my forces on them at the moment. Finish them off, kill them, and then we'll come back north. I think I'll kill Pontus next. And then we'll go after the Bosphorus guys. Bosphorus. But I didn't have anything else to do for this turn at the moment. So let me just end this turn. Yeah, they don't have a whole lot of guys inside, so I should be able to uh, just overwhelm them and capture that. Um, I need to make sure I'm actually paying attention for some more of the kind of draw out battles. Oh, wait, actually, maybe I asked for a ceasefire. I wonder. Because I don't need to kill them. I want side though. I want a unified Turkey, so I'm going to decline this proposal for now. Once I take side and the other one that I'm currently sieging right now, once I take those two settlements, I will consider a peace offer with them again, because um, I don't need to kill them. If I can actually prevent myself from expanding too far south into an area that doesn't have my culture that would probably actually be better for me but for the time being oh I wanna yeah, first kill these guys out just get them out of our way just get them out of our way and then let's begin sieging side and we'll wait for our reinforcements as long as it's gonna take you guys because you can just group up with him meh so he's got four. He's a four on me. Okay, well. He is in spot. Just now keep going for side. It's going to be about one, two more turns. I guess two, because some of these guys aren't going to fully be able to get there. Um, keep getting the Allied League. And then. Get the Allied League again. But no, what I was trying to say is um, I need to look for more cases where I can try and lure them out to kill their armies. It would be a lot. Should... I'm not doing that as often in this one because it's so... I don't feel the urge to expand rapidly in this campaign because at the moment, I, I did that already. I got past the main hurdle of the beginning of this campaign and I'm now on a point where I'm decimating my enemies. Absolutely decimating but let me actually get a diplomat over here, so I'm going to recruit one. I'll, I'll try and talk to the Ptolemy forces once I claim this settlement, and I take side. Because then it's like, okay, I don't need to attack you guys anymore. Um, this is far enough down south where just, hey, don't piss me off, I won't attack you, we won't need a war. And then I can continue focusing up here, because I, I have to kill Pontus. I don't need to deal do anything to the Ptolemy forces. I don't need to control any of their lands, do I? The only places I need to control are Athens, Thermon, Pella, uh, Ambrakia, Cercosiae. 
yeah, I, I just need to buy uh, Syracuse from you guys. I don't want to declare war on the Carthaginians. I hope I can avoid that. Oh shit, I forgot I didn't. I could build something in Athens. Okay, let me do that. I didn't realize they had an actual build slot available. Um, yeah, now because my forces should get to side next turn. Are they gonna attack here? Yes, they are. Um, I'm okay, so I'm just gonna be in an open field. This should be pretty easy though. Let's see what do you guys got? Oh, they have elephants. Ooh. This is actually going to be interesting. You have a lot of pikemen. Holy shit. So they have a lot of pikemen, and they have elephants. Oh, that's going to be really fun to deal with. Oh god, those things are expensive. Let's get, let's get into this. I'm excited. It's been a long time since I fought against elephants. Although they're going to be the Medieval 2 version of elephants. I miss the Rome 1 version of elephants, because those things were broken. <laughs> They were so ridiculously overpowered, and I don't remember them being as nearly as strong in Medieval 2. I never fought against them or used them as much. Um, I didn't have a chance as, as often, but still, they got elephants. Oh, this is the bridge battle. Oh god. Oh god, that's gonna... Oh, this is, oh, this is actually gonna kind of suck a little bit because of the fact that they have a ton of pikemen. I have no way to flank them. I have, I have a lot of archers. Okay, so what I'm gonna do... Archers... Is that all my archers? Yes, it is. Okay, so... Okay, I have just the one pikeman. No, I have two pikemen. So this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna be back a little bit, so that they can actually run in here. Pikemen are gonna stand right here. They're going to be my main body of forces. I guess my archers will just be kind of behind them right here. Um, let's grab you guys. Two there. Two of them here. And what I'm going to do is, since I have a lot of skirmishers, let's see, you guys kind of just stand here to help out the main body. So I'm going to take my skirmishers... All of you, you turn on fire at will, and two of you are just actually skirmishers. Skirmish mode. Skirmish mode. So what I'm gonna do is just set them around on this, just around this body of troops. I'm gonna make my little kill box. Well, it's not going to be as efficient as I would like, but it's just going to be a pain in the ass to deal with those um, those pikemen. They have so many pikemen, and I can't I can't flank them easily. So we'll try and do this. So you just kind of stand behind, General. You guys stand there, and I think I might actually have some of you guys. I'm going to initially have you guys turn off the skirmish battle. I'm going to have you guys save that. So this is going to be exciting. So I need to first kill those elephants. Oh, the elephants are staying behind. If that's the case, then I want you to use your animation. You to run into my kill box. Really? This is fine, guys. I've been wavering this easily. Oh, this is just going to be a massacre, then. <laughs> Save your ammunition for a little bit. Whatever, that's 4% of the forces. Oh, I forgot to turn around the skirmish mode for you guys. Oops. Can the elephants not cross the bridge? It's kind of sad if they can, honestly. Save the rest of our ammunition for when we start fighting the. Why are you guys up there? Why'd you guys change the way you were standing? You guys back up. Uh, you guys are supposed to. But they're all rowdy. 
I said they have no cavalry, but like, look at this. This is a massacre. Oh, this worked out so well. Oh no, I think the elephants can cross. Okay, they're just waiting. You guys readjust. Okay, this is when I'm gonna need all of you. Archers, focus fire the elephants. And you guys, I'm gonna give you all the attack order to throw your javelins and stuff at the elephants. If we can kill them quickly, this will be good. Focus the elephants. Everybody! Although they might start running in luck. Oh, there's one elephant. Don't start running. Broken. Oh my god. <laughs> what is this shit? an absolute slaughter. <laughs> I haven't lost a single percentage of my forces yet. They've lost almost half their army. <laughs> this is so sad. I almost feel bad at how efficient this is. This is very effective right now, and I love it. Okay, you guys turn on skirmish mode, those of you that still have ammunition. Wow, okay. I don't think we're gonna get to Magic 85, but I don't think it matters. You guys are just standing on the other side, maybe you guys realize what was happening, and you're like, nah, we're not fucking with that. No, pikemen, this is the problem, all the pikemen all of these guys are going to be really difficult to deal with. Just a blob. What, there's like six of them? Yeah, six pike units. That's going to be fun to deal with. Hey, at least the elephants weren't too difficult. Oh, I feel sad almost because of the fact that I killed them so easily. Hey, I get to take the city though. Now this is going to be the real fun part. Because pikemen are still a pain in the ass to kill in this mod. They're wavering just as badly, it looks like. Yep. I'm just gonna win. Use <laughs> Continue the battle a little bit longer. Just because I'm gonna capture more guys. Okay. How many do I even lose? Let's just end the battle since I can't chase them down. I lost 10 guys. Fucking 10. How many of those guys am I gonna heal? Two. Wow. Okay. I'm okay with this. I just destroyed the entire army that was in this city and the guys that they tried to send after me. Okay, thank you for the free city. Oh, it's a family member. I captured him. Enslave him. Enslave him all! Deopolis is mine now, thank you. Bye-bye. Get the fuck out of my city. I almost feel like I might actually conquer more in this mod. Maybe, maybe go a little bit further than what I need to. Because um, I only need to take those 40 settlements as I, I talked about. But I could make it so I conquer more. Depends. It really depends. Am I gonna, are you guys gonna let me take the city? Is it still? Okay. 
Okay, I'm gonna let this run for a little bit, see if it fixes itself. If not, I will have to reload the save. Okay, so now it works. They were... I guess they were kind of stuck in a loop trying to force me back. Um, so I loaded the save, and I just used the auto win sheet since we already won that battle. Um, so now let me enslave them all. So there we go. Now we have the city. It, we took way more damage than before. <laughs> A more respectable amount of damage instead of me losing 10 fucking guys. But okay, so there we go. Now we actually have uh, Diopolis. I'm gonna take side and then I will try and offer them a piece and see if they'll accept it because I don't think I need to continue expanding down here too much further. Especially since I was one of their capitals. Uh, no. You suck. So let's see. I can't give all of you the piss army. But they're your full army, full army. Oh, we can merge one of you. Okay. Um, go there. And you guys engage. Although we're going to be assaulting this turn, so it doesn't matter. Uh, with him. And then you too. And let's see. Ooh. You're the heir. So you command a three. And you're just a family member. So let me actually have my heir assault it. So I want you to try and get some better command. They're just gonna be slaughtered. So I'll just auto resolve that. So we need to try and give you a better command. There we go. And we slave them. So we became very wealthy. Plus influence minus two unrest. Increases public order. Nice. That is good. Uh, minus three personal security. That's not good. Um, and we can't capture it. Nice. Okay, so now let me... Okay. So let me try and offer them peace. I'm gonna see how they feel about that. So this is the closest thing we've got to them. So let me see what they think. Very generous. So... Um, I can see me trade. And then... I want money. Why don't you guys give me regular tribute for a couple turns? Let's say for like 10 turns. Let's see how much I can get away with this. <laughs> no, not 10,000. Um, 1,000. Balanced. Regular tribute. Let's say like 500. 10 turns. Okay. Get a little bit of money out of them. Have a peace with them. And there we go. I will not continue expanding down south to destroy you. So, I'm gonna get this place happy with itself, and then we're gonna go move up north. Because you're still my faction leader. Yes, you are. Your authority's really high. I love it. Um, so you guys need to get the military conquest. And let me see what else I can build around here. Side's gonna have to build the same thing, so repair everything. And then you get the military conquest. And I'm going to have you guys start getting ready to attack. Um, so let's see what they've got. So these are all still Seleucids. That's still rebel. And have they taken the city yet? No? Did they stop the siege? Looks like they failed sieging that settlement. Okay. Um, is there anything else I can build? Being the better temple. Uh, what about you guys? You guys can get. Ooh, supervised native administration. Some public order. Um. Sure, build that. Uh, is there anything else I can get? You guys still can't build anything. <laughs> I need to get like an actual governor over here. I just don't have any extras. Uh, Athens, also, you need to build something. Let's give you... Wealthy industry? 70, 100. Yeah, sure, we'll go with that. Let's go with that, and I don't think there's anything else to build. No. Okay. Let's just try to get start marching north. Then. You guys can't really move all that far. Oh, you can. You can just get rid of that. 
Um, oh, these are pretty beat up, but that should be fine. Now, how do I compare to Pontus? Overall, military. Man, we were pretty neck and neck, actually, uh, until turn 65. Was that when I started destroying uh, Macedonia? Where are they? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was right at the time I started conquering them. Okay. Oh shit, I forgot to get them those. Oh, I'll do it like this. Um, okay, but yeah. Let's send them up there. I'll bring my faction leader up there as well. And in the meantime, since I'm not conquering the rest of the Ptolemy forces, um, I might just continue trying to buy land from Seleucids, maybe? As a way to get there? Or I could just continue conquering. We'll have to see. At the moment, I kind of like trying to be a little peaceful every once in a while. Um, I just know for sure I wanted a unified um, Turkey, or Asia Minor, so I was not going... Hi, Ptolemy forces. Okay. I'm glad I gave them that peace offer then. So I'm going to... I don't like you all that much, but I need another guy. I need a new governor. Um, I'll send you over here. Your loyalty sucks. It's two. But maybe we can improve that. But no, so what I'm going to be doing then with my faction leader, he's going to be... Let's see what this. Yeah, so... Oh, they're now or... Oh, okay, so they just decided to piss us both off. Okay, so let me first get my forces settled here, and then I'm going to bring up my, uh, my faction leader, and we're going to start pushing north. Um, let me bring... Let me get some more spies here. I want to go explore the lands. I want to see what I want to go after first. So, first settlement is Akko. 26% chance. So Akko is going to be one of the first ones I go for. Oh, this just got exciting. Um, keep feeding the temple. Get the temple... Um, I'm still going to focus on uh, Pontus. I'm going to have you guys focus on Pontus. Let's kill them off quickly. They've got three settlements. And then I'm going to start a war with uh, the Seleucids. Meantime, actually, I should have had you guys. Oh, you can't get back. Shit. Well, if you can't get back, then just go here. Build a watchtower so I can kind of look over there and then come back to side. Um, why don't you grow already? Damn it, you're so close. Look, hoy. Uh, Byzantium. What can you guys get? Uh, you get the field games. Get the field games. Man, you guys make like no money over here. Oh, it's still the, it's still the just devastation. It's getting better, slowly but surely, it's getting better. You guys, why are you unhappy? Cultural unrest. Yeah. Do not have any more? Get these field games as well here first. And then I don't think there's anything else for me to build. Oh, Nosos can build something. I guess just get that. Oh, yeah, actually, wait. It's not worth it. <laughs> it's not worth it. And, oh, Alexandria initially built something. Didn't notice that first. Uh, get the Coastal Guard. Coastal Guard always helps. That always helps with trade. Okay. End that turn. Oh, you motherfuckers. You motherfuckers. You were a great ally for a while there, Rome. Do you really want to do this? How do I compare to Rome? War on two fronts. We have the Seleucids, and we have Rome. Who's stronger? I'm assuming the Seleucids are stronger. Oh, this is it. So I should make sure I'm not 
try to go through this too quickly so people can still read it if they want to. But, okay. First thing I need to do. Oh, what is that about? Uh, no. Okay, so let's look at just me and Rome. Let's do this. Okay, military is. Oh, damn, it's pretty damn close. What did they attack me with? Let's see. Don't piss me, buddy! It looks like a bunch of crap. I have some pikemen and some decent troops here. But how many men? They are number us two to one. Okay. Okay. Let's see. I need some reinforcements. So I do need to get at least some troops together for this. Um, actually, wait. How does this compare to the Cretan ones? Oh, missile attack's pretty close. Okay, but now get some men together. We'll send them over this way to try and at least hold them at bay for now. Um, I can hold off on my war with Pontus. Or should I kill? Just go straight up kill Pontus. Betrayed! A two brutus! A two brutes! Uh, wait, what was he? Because it, was... it was and you. And you, Brutus? Oh, I'm trying to remember that phrase. Fuck, what was it? Hmm. Flare. New guy. Wait, what? Faction destroyed new guys. What the fuck? So, hmm. what is Pontus like? Pontus's military is like a step in the bucket, just drop in the bucket. So I feel like I, this is me starting another war. I don't specifically need, but I feel like you three. I could have them ignore. Please get those guys. Turns next to wait. What? Oh, guys, I might actually even get them in general. Um. They okay, think I want to take out Pontus quickly. If I kill off Pontus. It gives me one of my victory conditions, and it's going to give me a stronger border with the Seleucids. So I'm going to get you guys happy, get the native administration, because I still need to bring my king up, because besides recruitment and construction, I would actually be making 20,000 a turn still. So I've got a decent amount of money, so I can at least repel the Romans back. I don't think I'm going to be able to push them back and continue taking land, but I can hold them at bay. Because I'm going to recruit some guys here, push up here, and try and defend this city. With the pikemen and the guys I've got, I think I can do a decent amount of damage with what they have. The Terraria are the really good units. All the other units are okay. So I think I can hold them at bay for now. Pella... That's doubling the mining income from that city. Yes, please. So let's try and focus on Pontus. Let's try and quickly kill Pontus off. Because honestly, I almost feel like those three generals. Why did you attack me in the first place then? I don't fucking trust you, but I'll take it for now. I absolutely don't trust you. Okay, this gives me a better idea of what I'm doing then. Still gonna focus on Pontus. All those guys I just recruited are gonna go into that city they just attacked, and I will reinforce that region against Rome in case they decide to attack again. I don't, I don't know why they decided to attack me. I don't. Kinda bugs me. But they decided to back off for now. 
It gives me a turn, and I need that turn. So, grab these guys and have them go up here. That way you guys are a little bit happier, and you have a better garrison in case they decide to attack again. Um, you should still be moving over here. You're going to become the governor of that city. So, this. so I'm making, yeah, about 19,000 gold per turn. You guys... You can take that. I can actually, okay, I don't have a mine here yet. Oh, then yeah, definitely build that. Then a mon is ready to upgrade. Ooh, please build that. Yeah, I don't trust them. I'll give them the peace for now, but I do not trust them whatsoever. Okay. So let's see. How am I going to go about this? Because I could go for... That's just a rebel settlement. I think I'm going to quickly try and take this first. They're going to be a little pissy for me walking through the lands, but that's fine. I'm going to clear one of them soon, so you guys move up here. You just go to the board. Otherwise, you are going to piss them off. Um, and I guess grab that guy. And did that give me a general? That did give me a general. Oh, that's why it's going to take another 100 turns to get that. Okay, so you... It post doesn't have a general. Or go over there. And also, I don't need so many of these guys here. Well, actually, they're really cheap. I don't have to care. Uh... Sparta still can't. Oh, actually, Sparta has grown. Okay, then I should actually get the roads. Okay, 74. Okay, that's decent. Still trust you, you assholes. Okay, and the turn again. Rome, can you just go take uh, Syracuse for me? And then just let me have a reason to invade there. Because <laughs> I don't want to attack the Carthaginians. I really don't want to attack them. Okay, so let me take Sinop. I should be able to easily take that next turn. And then I'm going to start my war with uh, Pontus. These three armies, I think, should be easily enough to take them out. Okay. Still another eight turns until I can leave here. Advance more. Get the closely allied uh, democracy. Oh, culture conversion bonus. Oh, that's nice. Oh, why can't I not recruit that unit anymore? Oh. It's kind of interesting. Okay. Uh, I want to go over to Synop, dude. You guys recruit as many guys as you can. I'm a little worried they're going to attack you. Stay on your side of the room. Stay on your side of their realm. Don't engage. Don't engage me at all. Uh, roads get me... I still don't know why I won't let me build this. Requirement for the bonus. Is there something else I'm missing? Get the imports, just to have this place grow a little faster then. And it's nice to build. Also, I'm sorry that this is such a... Uh, in comparison to some of my other campaigns, this is a much more chill and relaxed campaign. Oh, hi. Uh, so I'm definitely sitting back and being more passive. I think still the highlight of this campaign is when I took out so much land from uh, the Macedonians so quickly. Like, that really shot this campaign up in the power that my uh, faction holds. I haven't been able to, and then I've just been slowly but surely um, gobbling up my ally and my enemies. Surprisingly, the Seleucids haven't done shit. <laughs> I'm actually not too surprised. Often when they just blockade a port. They don't get too unhappy. Dude, get the hell out of the way. Chances, just you two. Oh god, you guys are gold experience all over this. Can you move? 
Can you please move? Why don't you get the hell out of the way? You guys can't recruit anything for Jesus quite a while. Well, I'll try and move them up once I am actually taking out uh, the Pontus. Because I want to try and take uh, at least an up. They've acquired the troops. Okay. Uh, you guys get this temple. Get the temple and then recruit a unit here. You should be able to have some free up units now. Now, so you guys, let's get you the fortifications. Gives a little bit of happiness. And how far are you off? Oh, you'll be there in two more turns. Because I need to cover damn it. Please have enough that you're actually going to make it so that they actually grow. That's pretty shit. Get the better temple. Okay, and then turn again. Can you fuck off? There's nobody in this little fleet. It's just a piece of shit fleet. I'm not good there. Yeah, hopefully Pontus moves that army, and then I can move my guys up, and I Mind should be stop. able to take them then. Hopefully the auto resolve won't be shit. And I can easily just take that. Because then we're gonna move those three again against Pontus. Come on. Let me get to my turn. Or I could just kill Pontus right there. Kill an army like that right away. I'm going to be going to war with them anyway, so I might as well. Let me look at that. Uh, sure, I'll take you. I just need more governors. Look I do. Again, I will go through this slowly for what I want it. I think there's a settlement to the north I need to put a dude in. There. Um, no, that one has one. Pella doesn't. Uh, you guys were in. Oh. Duck's ace! You've always been like this. Okay, Look, you go up here. Still not growing. Look, you go to Zelda since they don't have one in Bella. I don't want to endemic the rest of the Look, boy. Why are you poisons just have extra generals? You've been holding out on me, damn it! Okay, uh. Get that. Well, no, get that better farms. So that we stay growing. Good they moved out of the way. And then let's have your jacket. There we go. Save the population. Merge your armies. Didn't take too much damage. Okay, repair that. Build that up. And then how long? 30 turns. Jesus. Can you guys just get mercenaries? No available mercenaries. Okay, so I might actually have to recruit and send some guys up. Let me take my uh, fleet here. Let's bring them up this way. Bring them towards Pokemon. And I'll grab a bunch of guys here. So let's get some you, 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 and you. We'll grab those six guys. And I'll bring them over as reinforcements. Guys, I gave you a chance. If you want my wrath, I will give it to you. But I gave you a chance for peace, so don't throw that out the fucking window. Let's see. You guys can build something. Ah. Uh, get the large granary. Memphis. This is mine compare. Only 935. 30. Okay. Get some. You guys still can't get new units until six more turns. God damn it. Okay, but I think for now I'm gonna end this video. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed this. If you guys did, maybe like, comment, subscribe. If you guys did not, please let me know why so I can try and improve. Also check out the description for plenty of other ways to continue to watch out. But this is Rampant, and I'll see you guys next time.